Every week, we give you a glimpse into the lives of some of the most inspiring people in our area. A person, a group, sometimes an entire community trying to make our world a better place. 2020, of course, was a very different year, but the people here at home didn't change one bit. Take a look. I was struggling with heroin for 10 years. Um, it was just devastating. I'm amazed because I thought I would never have a life that I have now. A few themes made themselves known when 2020 began. People overcoming adversity. <laughs> providing for our kids. <laughs> and community. I think my heart believes in Rotary. I believe in community service and world service. I have seen what we do around the world and the impacts that we have made. From Byron to Amboy and Emmanuel Lutheran to Arendale. Olaf threw open the doors to the palace. 2020 was off to a strong start. And then we turned the page to a new story, one that would change everything. We haven't been able to go places. We haven't been able to, you know, give hugs to know that there are other kiddos who need us. And it's just, it's been hard not to be able to be there how I would like to be there for them. Downtowns became ghost towns. Families were left hungry and food pantries were left just trying to keep up. The only way of communicating was through a screen. Everyone looking for some sort of guidance. Any answers of what to do and where to go. Anything we can do to fill our headspace and our, our screens with something more positive. My family took a walk and I noticed that no one had anything on their windows. I thought maybe I could do it and then other people will do it and it will make them happy. It was fantastic. Waking up this morning, I felt like it was Christmas for me to be able to give to others. The world changed around us, but the people didn't. They just found a new inspiration. A lot of people normally go to the benefit, and those people would still like to donate to Children's Safe Harbor. If they can see something in return, they're probably more willing to donate. Help flooded in through every which way, from diapers to donuts. We'll bring in some donuts and bring a little bit of joy in people's lives. Let's give them some donuts. Whether it's the sense of responsibility of an old Marine vet. Thank you, George. Your smile's my reward. Thank you, sir. Or a new leader for Down Syndrome awareness, before even taking his first steps. <laughs> and I'm thankful that my little brother is different than me. While the tune of 2020 may have changed, the song had the same message, the same themes. Build up our community, Really, I am honored to have the trust of my community in working with them. Support the next generation. I do appreciate, you know, your candor and how much you share. And overcome adversity. I'm a survivor, and you can be a survivor too. I'm your sister. You can do this. You can do this. We, we are, we're survivors together. 2020 is over, but the pandemic continues. And so must our passion for making our home a better place. Inspiration means nothing if it doesn't lead to drive. I expressed my joy and I was driven to create it and I have some beautiful people that helped me do that. A year unlike any other, salvaged by the beautiful people of the 815, inspiring us all to hold on to each other as we make our way toward a better, warmer, happier life. For your 13 Weather Authority, Evan Leak, 13 News. It's been my honor to cover each and every one of these people, and we still need your help honoring and recognizing people in our area who impact lives through civility. You can fill out a nomination form on our Inspiring 815 page at WREX.com or by sending us an email at Inspiring815 at WREX.com.